Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Today is Monday. No, today is Tuesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday. And I'm working from home today. It wasn't by choice, but so I was getting ready for work. Got all my makeup on, got my hair done, everything. I'm back in a robe now because it's so cold. But Brian was like knocking on the bathroom door. You're not able to go to work today. Both of the routes that I could go, my main route that I would go, there is a semi jackknifed across the road. So I can't go my normal way. And then my backup way, the other highway I could go is also closed. It's really icy and slick out and everything. It snowed again just a little bit last night, but, um, I don't know, they're having the worst accidents, they, even worse than what they had when we had almost a foot of snow. So <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I'll be working from home again. Um, I was thinking about, we just keep watching the news and they're just, nothing's clearing. Cause I was like, well, maybe I'll just go in late and nothing's happening. So I'm just working from home. So anyway, came in here to make another cup of coffee and keep working and it's just it's weird this weather it's supposed to be sunny all day today so although alexa what's the high temperature going to be today today expect a high of 13 degrees fahrenheit alexa what's the temperature right now right now it's minus seven degrees fahrenheit so, but anyway, the sun is powerful. So if the sun is out full force, maybe some of the snow can melt and the roads can get cleared up. And then maybe tomorrow, you know, I'll drive down. It's just, it's just weird. I wasn't expecting to work from home again today, but that's what's, that's what's up. I hate winter so much. <laughs> Hello there. So today's a Wednesday and as far as I know, <laughs> the roads are okay. There's no semi across the front of the highway for me to go over. So I'm going to be trekking outside in this cold ass weather and uh, I'm not looking forward to it. But I do have my big, I have a big puffy Eddie Bauer coat. So I'm going to wear that and earmuffs and gloves and just, you know, put on my big girl pants and <laughs> get out in the cold. <laughs> so anyway, it's Wednesday, just waiting for the coffee pot to get enough coffee in it for me to make a coffee and um, head out just a little bit early and uh, just in case it's super slow, you know? And then tomorrow after work, we're gonna be going to the lake for like just a weekend, so. But that'll be nice. I'm just, I mean, we'll be staying in, I'm sure, because it's gonna be cold there. And then Friday, it's supposed to snow again, but not like a big amount, like what we got last week. So, and then the temperature is supposed to start going up. And so hopefully a lot of this will start to melt. And then I think midweek next week, it's supposed to start raining. That will definitely get rid of the snow, so. Uh, just got a few more days of the bitter cold and at least for this part we'll be done with it and maybe we'll be lucky and then winter won't be quite as cold because <laughs> as I mentioned I hate winter <laughs> good morning today is Wednesday I'm getting ready to head down to the building and then I'm gonna leave a little bit early today because after I get home, then we're going to leave for the lake and spend the weekend at the lake. I'm going to work from the lake tomorrow. So I'm just ready to get away from all the snow because at least on the ground, because it snowed a little bit down there, but it hasn't like stuck. So the way it has here, we've got all these inches of snow that feel like it's going to take forever to melt. <laughs> so, and then now we're under a wind chill advisory because the temperature is going to be like, plummeting again it'll be cold down there too but some it'll just be different we'll be all bundled up and huddled up at the lake you know so we can look out at the lake and stuff so i'm really looking forward to it okay 
we're on our way. So we, it's funny. Okay. I'm not, I'm not driving. I like pick my phone up and it says phone down. Van over the lake. Um, Lake. We've made it to Bagnell Dam, so Look we're at down sky, at the lake area. Clouds. You know what's funny is that sign, like when we're looking at it, it's solid, but when the phone's looking at it, it's blinking, like really quick. Mm. Here we are at the dam, the Bagnell Dam. The sun is really pretty off the water. It really is right now. Because we come down to the dam and look at it from the water on the other side, <clears throat> on the other side of those buoys. There's the big boats, the little yachts. The little Dude celebrity boats. cruises. Welcome to Bagnell Dam. They used to have a haunted house down here. It was called, I think it was called Angie's. It was called Angie's. I don't know if it was called that when I was a kid. Haunted Hotel or yeah, something. Yeah, it was a haunted hotel. It's not down here anymore. But when I was a little kid, we came here. This my, is where they're going to be repaving. It yeah, it needs it. My family and I, and they had a skeleton playing the piano. And it had, my grandma used to make some of her own clothes. And she had on a bandana and a shirt. And the same exact one the skeleton had on. I wonder if my mom has a picture of that. That'd be so funny. You go in there and your grandma's dressed like the skeleton. <laughs> oh but the Bagnell Dam strip has changed a lot. Even since our kids were little. It's like a lot of restaurants and stuff now. It used to be, they used to have like a skee ball hall and stuff like that. But they still have a little bit of that. Yeah. But they used to have more than one. Like go karts and miniature golf on the strip, but they don't have that. It'd be nice if it came back. Yeah, eventually. I think it would. Probably and then dog patch right here, like, that's been that there ever since I was a little kid. It's been there actually since the 50s. It's like a place where you can get souvenirs and stuff. We stopped at the grocery store just to get creamer and milk and some eggs. This place over here in the summer, there's always two helicopters parked over there, and then they do like helicopter tours, but they're closed down for the winter. And we're here and put our groceries up and Brian just went down to the dock, even though it's pitch dark outside, just to check on the sea dew lift and make sure everything's A-OK -okay down there. And then, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're here and I feel the battery recharging already. I'm just so happy here. Hello there, today is Friday. I'm working from home and it's almost 10 o'clock, so the sun is gonna be out all day today, but the high is only gonna be like 10, so it's not good, or maybe 13, they said. So it's not, and the, the high wind chill. As a matter of fact, last night, Brian and I both got woken up a couple of times because of the sound of the wind. You know how it does like that sound? I sounded more like a, little puppy trying to howl but <laughs> you know the sound that you can hear it sounded like that and so I'm not planning on going anywhere today Brian maybe I'll ask him if he'll try to vlog a little he'll probably forget but he's gonna go to the sea dealer 
he likes to go there and look at sea dews because we've been thinking about maybe buying another one so we have one to keep here but we keep like we're like oh then we got to pay taxes and you know we just kind of hem and haw him mostly and so we'll go to the sea dew dealer and then i'm just like i'm kind of over it you know i'm getting kind of tired of going there over and over again so he's gonna go by himself today <laughs> and look at them and see if he could get a really good deal on like last year's version or even the year before's version if they have any left maybe we'll get one to keep here we'll just see and then the one that we already have would be our one for the lakes close to home and everything because it's getting a lot more hours on it and everything but anyway so he's gonna do that and then he's gonna there's a few things like we forgot to get bananas and bread yesterday and so he's gonna go get bananas and bread at the grocery store and do the little bit of the errands. And I'm staying home. I'm dressed all warm. I have like this little outfit. Um, I got this at Walmart like a couple of months ago when they first started coming out with their winter stuff, but I got it to keep here at the lake. So, but yeah, I'm gonna finish working. I got a couple of meetings, you know, and some stuff to do and then when I'm done with work, I don't know what we'll do, um, but it's just gonna be really cold and so we're just gonna hunker down and stay in for most of the time. We might go out to eat one time while we're down here, we're not sure, but just kinda, you know, we don't really have any plans. We're just gonna do what we wanna do. And um, yeah, so, but I'll share whatever it is we end up doing, but it's Friday the tea kettle going. We have an electric one also, but sometimes I like to just hear the whistle of the tea kettle. <laughs> Is that weird? Um, so I'm just ready for the tea to get ready. This is what I'm having. It's the Fireside Vanilla Spice. Just waiting for it to... It's not as fast as the electric tea kettle, but I don't know. I'm just feeling like a whistle today. <laughs> sun is shining all day. It's only 10 degrees outside right now, but it sure looks pretty. This morning it was kind of funny because Brian and I were just talking about how we hadn't seen any wildlife. And then right after we said that, there was a raccoon. Like down, going along the rocks. It's funny. First time I had seen a raccoon here. He was a big boy too. Well, hey, it's uh, Brian here. It's a super cold 11 degree day on January 19th. And I'm here at the uh, power sports dealer because I think I'm gonna get another sea dew but uh yeah yacht club power sports Osage Beach Missouri it's where I got my first one and uh been happy with it go in and ask for a guy named Tony he took care of me he's a really cool kid anyway I say kid I shouldn't say that he just says when I say that it makes me sound old so anyway go see Tony Yacht Club Power Sports, Osage Beach. Okay, so this is why I'm here, guys. This is this is the fun stuff for me. Love the CDs. There it is, the new 325. That thing's a beast. That's the RXPX. It's built for performance and speed. The nice RXTX is right behind it in a 325. That's the one I like too. That one's nice. But yeah, these are all real fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Fun, fun, fun. This is why Brian's here. I could be here all day. This is like my target. <laughs> Angie can go to Target and she can spend hours and hours. And I'm like, how can she do this? But then I come to a store like this and I'm like, okay, I could spend hours here. Look at this. So look, this is winter time. Nobody's here. It's 11 degrees. They're itching for a sale. Is Brian going to buy one? I come in here and sell it to these guys. I'll get them all salivate. I'm going to buy a dozen. I'm starting a business. <laughs> but yeah, look at all these things. They're all over. Guys, which one do you think, which one do you like? Let me know. Let me know. Which one do you like? So I'm thinking... Oh, here's the new one. Gosh, I really wish I hadn't have saw this color. I really like this one. I love that. I'm not going to let him know it. No, I hate it. I hate it. It's terrible. I wouldn't take it if you gave it to me. <laughs> That's my guy. He's He was eating lunch, but it's all right. That's Tony. If you're going to come in here, come see Tony. Come see me. Tony, this is going on my wife's YouTube channel. She's got like over 10, about 10,000 subscribers almost. Come see me. Yeah. Number one Sea-Doo dealer in the U.S. They are. Yacht Cub Power Sports, Osage Beach, Missouri. Yes, sir. And that's Tony, and he's a Chiefs fan. That makes it even better, see? Number Golly, one. that's right. <laughs> Brian is too funny. Um, I was just watching, he sent me a couple of videos, so I'll have them, well, you have seen them, because I'll put them in the vlog, but I really like the, like the turquoise colored CDs, but we're after what we can get cheap, well, relatively speaking, so we'll see, I mean, poor Tony, he probably gets tired of Brian, I mean, Brian doesn't think so, because Brian's a salesman too, and he knows sometimes how people need to kind of, you know, price things out several times before they make a decision. And so, because he has talked to Tony so many times <laughs> about different CDs, gets them all priced out, and then he's like, I don't know, I don't know. But he's also been saving some money, so, you know, for like a down payment. So, we'll see. I'm really interested to see if he sends me a video saying, oh, hey, babe, we just bought this one or something like that. So... We'll see, but yeah, I really like the turquoise ones, and he's totally right. He's like, Angie could spend hours in Target, and he's right. He's totally right, <laughs> but Brian can spend time in Harbor Freight or, you know, like any of the guy stores, so, but yeah, well, I'm going to sit here and keep drinking my tea and enjoying my lunch, and and then I only have just a little bit longer. I'm taking a late lunch. It's like 1.30. And so, and then I'm going to get off work at about 2.30. So I'm taking my lunch late. So then I don't have much time left in the day. And then I could just log off and enjoy my late time and not worry about any more work. So, but yeah, I love it here so much. Okay, everybody. So we are going to be the proud new owners of a 2023 sea do wake 170 it's uh this one right here but it doesn't have speakers we didn't get the speakers so anyway this is the one angie really liked too so it's got a ski package on it so my fat ass will hopefully oop, my fat butt will get back up on some water skis this year and we'll see what happens but yeah well the gal's sitting here standing here waiting for me so just wanted to show you Okay, I'm excited. So he just, well, you see, he just sent me the one we got. Um, I don't care about the speakers. Both of us, it costs like $1,500 for those speakers. And we have them on our current CDU, and they're Bluetooth. So it's not like an actual radio. It's like you hook it to your phone or whatever. We don't really listen to the radio that much now. We kind of just enjoy the peace and quiet. Like, you know, when we're sitting out on the water, on the sea dew, just enjoying nature and everything, the radio disturbs the nature. So <laughs> we don't really listen to the, the radio too much. And so we don't need the speakers. So if you're curious, I will share how much last year's version of a sea dew cost. That one is $13,500. So um, if you're curious, that's what we're going to be paying for that. 
and um, so um, Brian's making a down payment of the money that he's been saving and stuff. So, but anyway, um, yeah, that's how much they, at least last year's version. This year's version for that same kind of one is like 19,000 something. So that's why we were trying to get like another version. And even if we they would have had like 2022, because this year, you know, they're selling the 2024 ones. We would have even tried for that. So, um, yeah, in case you're curious about how much they cost. So that's exciting. And so we'll have to, he'll have to, he'll let me know like when, because it won't actually be that one, you know, that exact one on the floor, because like I said, we're not going to get the speakers. And then what will happen is to get it here, Brian will drive it like on the water. So, um, and we don't want to do that yet. So it'll be interesting to see when it comes in and everything, or if they have it like in a box or I don't know. Um, I know when we bought our original one, we had to wait a while for it because it was, you know, during the whole COVID thing and how the supply chain was all jacked up and all of that, we had to wait a while. We bought it in like January or February and we didn't get it until like April, the year we bought it. So I think, I think we got it in like 2021 or 2020. I don't remember. Um, but so yeah, that'll be our, the one that lives here at the lake. And so we won't have to have a, we have a trailer for the one we currently own. So we won't have to buy a trailer. So that'll save us some money. And I'm excited. I'm excited we were actually able to get that turquoise colored one. What I didn't want is like black seats because I can only imagine you'd like burn your skin off, you know, sitting out in the sun or whatever. So how exciting. I know he is over the moon. He has been looking, I swear ever since like the year after we bought the one we have now, he keeps looking, you know, for another one. And cause he was even saying, we probably, we could bring our other one down here sometimes, and then we'd have two to ride around. Um, yeah, all that's like, who knows? But anyway, we're getting another sea How exciting. It has been, I don't know, it's been, the last several months have been really cool when it comes to the, the lake and the condo and everything. And now we just gotta wait for it to warm up enough to be able to get out on the water again. So, yay. Okay, so now we're gonna, we pick tonight to go out to eat, to be our go out and eat night so we can celebrate our sea dew purchase. Yeah, it's and, Friday night, we're yeah, excited. And it's Friday night, so we're gonna go out to eat to a place called Baxter's. Yep. We've, we've never, never been there. Never been there. So it'll be and our first been, time. And it's been here the whole time we've been coming mm -hmm. out. So, we're gonna find a first. Yep. And that is what Baxter's looks like on the outside. They look pretty busy. Must be good. This is one of the hot spots. People love it. We'll see. Price Hopefully, point. we can sit somewhere with a view. I think the price point's a little bit more, but yeah, it'll be good. But they got to Well, Baxter's is not gonna work out. Baxter's they... was a bust. <laughs> <laughs> they have an hour and a half wait. So, we're gonna go to JB Hooks. Which we've been to, and we already know we really like them. So, and but we've never. Too. I think we've only ever been here for lunch, though. We yeah. haven't had dinner, so. They're hopping. This is JB Hooks. We don't go to the shrimp and oyster bar part. We do the regular. Stay, stay on the. The camera. regular dinner. Keep the video going, babe. See, I'll show I'm them gonna... what. Well, because I'm gonna park. Is that a spot right there? I think so. The blue's on this side. I don't know if people will still be able to get around my truck though. Well, we can move somewhere two. else. We'll be all right here. We'll be all so right. So they got a really good view too. Yeah, and they, they actually you can see. They're actually two, right next door to each other. Yeah, two. You can so see the hopefully other. Hopefully, this one will work out. Too, so, uh, either way. Here's our view. This place is really pretty. 
So our waiter, our waiter Rick, has been here for 34 years. That's and awesome. We've never been to this side dining room, but I guess this part is all new. It just happened you know, like four years ago. So this is black and blue. It's got capellini with blue cheese. And then this is steak medallions. Mine is a stuffed chicken chardonnay, which has lovely amaretto honey glazed carrots. Um, the stuffing that they stuff the chicken chardonnay in on a bed of wild rice um, is the same stuffing they use in their crab rangoon. Yep, it's gonna be delicious. Saturday morning, got the fog over the water. You can see like frost all along over there. You can even see like ice. I think that's such a cool look, the way that it does the fog on the water. We're gonna play some Mario Kart Sun is setting, and we just had a pajama day today. Time for Yahtzee. So it's Sunday morning. <laughs> Brian's gonna be making us some breakfast, cooking sausage, and then we're gonna have gravy. Gravy biscuits, biscuits are in the oven. They look good. They're about done, probably. Oh, awesome! I love biscuits. And then later, after breakfast and everything, I wanted to show you guys how rough the water looks today. It's kind of windy out. I mean, it's rough for a lake. It's not like, you know, it's the ocean or anything, but water's moving pretty good. Anyway, later, Brian and I are gonna go down there and pick up, like, oh, there's a shoe. <laughs> there's a little bit of trash and stuff down there, so. We're gonna go down there and just with like a target sack, cause there's not a lot of trash, but we're gonna pick up some trash and clean it up down there. It's gonna be sunny, but not warm, unfortunately. Just got done washing the dishes from breakfast and I'm drying them and it's just like, I don't even mind doing dishes. I mean, because the view. I mean, come on. <laughs> I just love it so much. To the 22. And that's going to go for basically no gain to no one. Yeah. Yes! Let's go, Chiefs. Way to go. The defending champions move forward. Patrick Mahomes, Jim, has never not played in the AFC Championship game in his career as a starter. Tell me about that. How about just that? Just amazing. Good morning, guys. It's Monday. I just woke up, and in a little bit, I'll be signing on to work. Brian's watching the news that's showing the sports and the football stuff. And we were going to go home today, 
but we decided we're gonna stay one more day and go home tomorrow because everything is a solid sheet of ice out there right now. I'll show you. Um, it is, uh, and it's gonna be like this, like freezing rain all the way up past noon. So we decided we're just gonna stay another day, not try to drive in this, so. And we're like, darn, we have to stay at the lake another day. It's awesome. So let me show you the parking lot real quick. Okay, you might be able to see it's still raining, but that is a solid sheet of ice out there. And Brian's truck is covered in ice. And then that's the kind of hills. <laughs> and we're on Horseshoe Bend. And it would not be a good thing to try to drive in this kind of weather with all the ice. Even like the, the like deck area and everything is just a solid sheet of ice. So yeah, and it's like this at home too. So even if we got past these bad roads, it still wouldn't be like free going because we noticed our youngest son, when he went, when he went to go get in his car this morning, he slid, he like can't even get onto the driveway. So he's not even chancing it this morning. I think he's planning on maybe waiting till later and trying to go into work, but we'll see. But anyway, the weather's keeping us here another day. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the vlog up for the week. I really should have done that yesterday and this should be the start of a new one. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me this week and hopefully you'll come back next week and we just got i don't know i love the lake so much and i love that a lot of you guys love getting to see it too so summer will be here eventually and we'll get to go on adventures on the lake and stuff but in the meantime these wonderful days where we're just stuck inside <laughs> are fine too especially when i'm at the lake so but anyway thank you guys Bye.